So now let's get to the important stage of the editing stage, basically, which should not be overlooked and which a lot of people are actually overlooking and making a huge mistake and which which harms them in a big way in the later stages of the editing of the course. And it is, of course, the organizing of the footage. So what do you need before you actually go to editing is to organize your footage in a manner uh, that in a manner that it would be easy to find and easy to edit in the later stages. So how you can actually do that? It's extremely easy and extremely simple thing to do. All you need to do is to separate all the footage of all of the lectures into a separate folders. Cut it, for example, right here. It's extremely simple thing to do. All you need to do, all you need to do is just to create a, a folder where you will make a folders with the names of the lectures. It is extremely beneficial, especially if you have more and more lectures. And what you will have inside the folders, basically when you open it, it's gonna have a single video of, if you recorded only a single video, or the multiple videos if you created a longer footage and if you separate in those separate parts or maybe you recorded one part at one time the second part at another time or maybe even if you recorded your audio absolutely separately you're gonna do and have it all at the same place right here i don't have it like more than one video because i'm actually recording only a single video I'm, I'm actually used to recording uh such footage and i know how to record them in a single file to not have any issues uh, in a later stages so this what you see right here is basically a structure of this very course of course the course itself is not yet complete what you're seeing right now is basically organized footage organized folder structure because before this footage will actually be dropped in right here and basically everything uh, before that lecture 15 is everything uh, done because yeah we're watching this and i'm recording this in a chronological order and all the rest will be dropped in their respective folders when the footage will be recorded and don't worry on an editing stage you might have some newer ideas that you didn't think of on a preparation stage or the recording stage and you want to add something in the later stages don't worry you can do something similar here as well for example i decided to add a special Special disclaimers folder right here because I'm going to be recording a special disclaimers uh, lecture in the future as well and alongside with my introduction because yeah you remember what I said uh, in one of the previous lectures remember to record introductions and conclusions only after you are done with everything else so that's uh, why I'm, I have right here I had that's why I named it 1a because it's actually in conjunction with an introduction so yeah you can do that as well however and there's one more thing that you should also remember about uh, the uh, organization of the footage and it is the organization of the specific footage of a specific lectures and of a general footage. Now, uh, general footage and rather gen general uh, files are the files that you might be using not just in a single lecture and not even just in a single course and not even in just courses. These are uh, the files that can be used outside of your courses or between the lectures or things like that, mainly a general types of files. And and one of such file types are actually uh, music files. For example, if you, I have a separate folder in the music right here, which I can use to basically put music in any kind of project uh, that I have. You should have separate files for that, uh, separate folders for that as well. Like I have right here, a music folder completely separately from everything else. Or uh, if you have a separate folder for the, uh, uh, other arts and graphics, you should have it uh, here as well. For example, I have separate folders for videos and even for separately inside a video for separate folders for the stock videos with all the organized names etc etc uh, then i have a, a picture uh, assets as well basically start all the screenshots that i take then i have a stock photos which i don't use a lot uh, i have a separate folder for thumbnails for different types of thumbnails etc etc all of those footages are actually organized in a way so it would be very easy for me to find it's better to start thinking of all of this before you're going to actually go to editing because when you will actually start editing you're going to be working with so many different files and folders if you don't have it organized it will become convoluted and overwhelming very quickly and you don't want your editing to become overwhelming because when editing becomes overwhelming it becomes incredibly boring and tedious and many people i've seen a lot of instructors just abandoning editing stage all together because it became way too boring and way too tedious or just uploading uh, just a raw files just immediately recorded files just directly to udemy making it a completely awful 
quality. You don't want to do this. You want to make this as quick as possible, as unobstructive as possible, and as little tedious as possible. And this is what you should do. And it is extremely easy to do. All of those files will be in their respective folders. And it's extremely easy to remember where you, where you put the file or the video of the certain footage. Now you know exactly where you, where you put it. And if you want to find it, it will be extremely easy. Now this will be helpful. And in the next lecture, let's actually start moving on to actual editing. I'm going to see you there.